Hello and welcome to more NES Remix 2! So guys, I was looking at some of the stages I still need to do, and I noticed that Zelda 2 has 10 stages, and we have 4 stages left in Mario Bros. 3, so what do you say we split that into 2 episodes? I'll do 5 stages of Zelda 2, uh, 2 today, 2 stages of Mario Bros. 3 today, and then tomorrow we'll do the same thing, 5 stages of Zelda 2, and the last 2 stages of Mario Bros. 3. I think that's a pretty good plan, so let's do it! Stage 1 of Zelda 2, let's begin! First we have to leave the altar and set out for an adventure. So I actually, I have played Zelda 2 before, I have a GameCube disc which happens to have Zelda 1 and 2 on it, as well as Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask, so I know a little bit about this game, but not a whole lot. I guess I have to block three rocks here. There we go. Boom! And defeat three enemies. So, for those who don't know, Zelda 2, as you can clearly see, has elements of side-scrolling. There's also some stuff that's more of the standard overworld type stuff, but basically, they kind of mix it up. When you go inside of a dungeon or inside of a town, you're side-scrolling, and when you're on the overworld, you're the classic up-down view, or bird's eye, I don't know what you call it. Collect enough experience points to level up. Okay, let's try getting this bag here, and that'll do it. Cool. So that is going to be it for the first stage. Looks like it's just a basic tutorial. And we're going to move on to the second stage. Is that going to be not even three stars? All right. But we, we do unlock an extra stage in bonus, which is basically Remix 3. All right. And it looks like some kind of Metroid type thing. But anyways, let's move on here. Looks like they're going to have us do some more of the side-scrolling sections. Defeat a Geldarm without taking any damage. All right. I can't slash at his bottom there. Oh, he's coming down. Boom! There we go! And got him! I guess the challenge was avoiding the rocks. Here we have to get the trophy. I don't really know much about this. Uh, we can take damage this time, though. We don't have to worry about avoiding everything. Uh, is that a trophy? No, that's just a magic potion. Probably restores our magic. Oh, there's the trophy. I don't think I probably even have to kill this guy. Let's just jump right past him. If we can. Got it! Okay. Yeah, take that guy. You throwing your boomerangs at me? I don't even care. Let's jump right past you. This is going by a lot faster than I imagined, and I'm not even getting good scores. Hopefully stages 3, 4, and 5 will take a little bit longer. Let's go. Looks like we're going to the first temple dungeon castle place. Palace, it's a palace. Get the palace key. So that is all we have to do. We don't even have to do a second stage. So we just have to delve inside this palace and find a key. And I think this is the first palace in the game. With that said, I still actually have no clue where this key even is. These guys, I think, are infinitely respawning. Some of the weakest enemies in the game, you just kill them. I don't think they give any experience points. Maybe they give one or something. Looks like him hitting me there took away some experience, though. Uh, can I dodge those guys? They're not going to jump down here, it looks like. So we're pretty good. We got a skeleton. I think that's a Stalpos. I think that's the name of those guys. I don't even know what those guys are, but there we go. We found the key. So going to the left actually worked this time. Nice. Once again, a pretty short stage, so let's move on to stage number four. Locked another bonus stage, nice. And I think I've mentioned this before, but I just want to reiterate that I will, of course, be getting all of the Rainbow Stars in this entire game, guys, and I'm also going to try to max out my bit counter all the way to 99,999. So that is definitely on the agenda. Okay, these guys, I think you can jump and attack them pretty easily. No, maybe not. I could have sworn you had to, like, attack where they're not blocking. There we go. Okay. Oh man, his sword is longer than mine, and he got me, crud! Why is Luigi running across the top? Luigi is so random sometimes. Okay, let me just see if I can do better this time. Uh, maybe I have to actually block sometimes instead of just attacking constantly, but we got him! So the Iron Knuckle was very easy. I think playing through the first five stages might not actually be a plan that works out very well, because we're gonna go through all five of them really quickly. I will stick to the plan to an extent. I will go ahead and beat, uh, Five Zeldas and two Marios, but if there's extra time, I guess I can go tackle Warriors Woods, which sucks. So here we have to aim for this guy's head. Guess I'm just gonna jump attack. Is that really it? That was extremely easy. That's gotta be a rainbow performance. I said the jump attack. I remember seeing someone do that. 2.6 seconds. Alright. I have watched a couple speedruns for this game, but that doesn't necessarily mean I'm gonna be as good as a speedrunner at it. Anyways, that is complete. So we've already defeated five Zeldas. That went by way faster than I imagined. But let's go do two Marios. Let's do stage 13 and 14. So let's see. Use the stars to cross the level and enter the pipe. All right. So let me grab the first star here. So there's going to be a bunch of these things. Oh, do we have to get this crud? There we go. So we had to slide because Big Mario can't fit under those blocks there. Give, give me this. I think the way it works... Oh, no! Give me that! Got it! Oh, that was close. 
I think the way it works is if there's a coin in a block, if you happen to have a star already, that coin will become a star. And unfortunately, I messed up, but I can take one hit, so it's not a total failure quite yet. Let's just keep going. Maybe being small Mario will be an advantage here. Hard to say. Oh, and I made it! Okay. So thankfully, you're allowed to take two hits there. If I could only take one, I would have failed there. But we got three stars. Nice. And of course, today is the two-time bits for Mario Bros. 3. I will be recording... Uh, tomorrow's episode today as well, so I will get the advantage of that times two bits for all four of the stages coming up. But let's go ahead and do stage 14! Defeat a rocky wrench. That'll be very easy, assuming there's one right here. There is not. Uh, where is one? I'm pretty sure those are the, the mole guys that hide inside the little manholes. And I've already taken damage and I haven't even found one yet. This is not looking so good. Get this. Where is one? I thought I would just be able to kill one right away. That is definitely not the case. Oh, we got fire cruds. There we go. Boom. Got him. He almost threw the wrench at me right as I jumped on him, but thankfully I got it fast enough. So now we have to enter a pipe. Oh, there's another rocky wrench. Let's get him wrecked. Let's just, I guess, go through the level until we get to the end. Oh, do not get hit by those bob bombs. Good. We dodged him. Get away. Ooh. I just got shot by that cannon as well. Is that a... Nope, no rocky wrench there. Oh, my gosh. That was a close one. I think, ah, oh, crud, I was about to say, if you stand on top of these, it'll automatically kill the cannonballs. Yeah, there you go. But, with that said, I was just a little bit too slow to get to the top. But we're inside, we probably have to fight the boss now. We have to defeat the boomerang, bro. Oh, crud, the problem is we're stuck as small Mario, so we can't take any extra hits. Ah, I gotta be more patient. I'm trying to rush to jump in there before he pulls out the second boomerang, but I don't think that's gonna work. Dang it, got him, yes! With one life to spare. All right, it's not going to get a one-star performance. Only three stars, no rainbows. Okay. So that is definitely not enough to be a full episode, guys. That is seven minutes and 45 seconds on my recording so far. Not so sure how much I'm cutting out. But let's go, do so let's go and do something else. Let's go and do Stage 3 of Wario's Woods. It's about time we finally tackle this. Clear the stage in two minutes or less. Okay. So I think I have to get this yellow bomb. Okay, let me get the yellow guy, put him up there. And let me get these white guys. Boom. So now I just have to get a red one. Hopefully they'll give me a red bomb pretty soon. Looks like they do. So if I can just get this over there. Come on. Get up there. Uh, darn it, that didn't work. I messed up, guys. So let's get this red bomb. I have to get another red bomb now. Looks like they're just giving me a bunch of white ones, which is unfortunate. There's the red one. I need that. Okay, give me that. And I'll set it down. Boom. All right. I guess I'm getting the hang of this. That did not take too long at all. So let's go to the right. Uh... Oh, crud! Okay, I thought there was—I thought the stage was over. That's definitely not it. We gotta keep going. So I need to clear a path for this white bomb here. Let me get these guys stacked up. I'll just move him over there for a moment. And this will be the, the white one. Oh, you can't pick it up when you're on top of it. I always forget that. And now the purple bomb is in the spot that I want. Crud, dude. This is getting awkward. There we go. Oh, jeez. Uh, I'm choking, guys. I'm choking. No, get the white one. Get the white one. No! Well, I just blew up a bunch of purple bombs. There we go. Okay. So now I want to line this guy up right here. No. Pick up the one that... Pick up... Oh my gosh. Pick that up. Whatever. I'll just blow that up and I'll get some new purple bombs. Uh, purple bomb. There we go. I can't walk over there, though. Oh, they're dropping new enemies on me, though. Oh, crud. I just said those so many times. Okay, if I drop this here, that next purple bomb's coming down. But this guy is dropping more enemies, dude. This is not looking good. The green one will destroy that spot right there. The white down as well. Okay, we can still do this. I got this guy. Come on, get the purple. Got it. Now we just need a green bomb. Come on. That is not a green bomb. Give me a green one. Don't drop any more enemies. Yes, thank you. No more enemies? Good, good, good. Let's drop it right there. We did it, guys. And goal time is 1.30. That is less than two minutes. We did it. All right. Jeez. So what I'm thinking, guys, is I'll do one more stage of Wario's Woods right now, and then maybe after... So next time I'm going to go and finish off Zelda 2 and Mario Bros. 3, depending on how much time that takes, which I'm guessing that'll be a full episode because the later stages are probably going to be longer, but I, eventually I can come back and do the rest of Kirby's Adventure and the rest of Wario's Woods in one episode. So let's go ahead and do stage 4, and then we will call it a day after that. So erase everything. Try grabbing a monster with B. Oh. Uh... Okay, I don't think B did anything differently than A. I'm not entirely sure what was the difference there. 
but this one is easy enough. That was actually very easy. I'm pretty sure that was like rainbow worthy. Okay, race all of the monsters. This time we have to wait for bombs, unfortunately. Looks like they're gonna drop a light blue one right there. Ah, oh, crud. If I pick this up, it'll just... Dang it, I didn't want to do that. Okay, let's move out the way of this bomb. There we go. And those guys get destroyed as well. Uh, let me pick up these red guys. I wish you could pick up the whole tower of them, but unfortunately you can't really. So if I drop this right here, it will blow it up, which I didn't exactly want. That'll blow up this one as well. So it's going to drop the red here, and then we'll have to go get some blues. I know I'm doing this in a very inefficient way, but it's kind of difficult not to because I don't know the controls that well. But I am starting to get the hang of it, guys. It's not as bad as it initially seemed. I think if I just keep practicing and getting some rainbows in between videos, maybe I'll do a pretty good job in the future on Wario's Woods. But, anyways, that is going to be it for today. Sorry if that was a little bit rambly and random with Wario's Woods, but we're done. So I'll see you guys next time. Take care.